So back from that brutal session, uh, those sessions are getting very, very hard to stay motivated till the end. But we're doing what we can and, and, and just stay focused on the end goal. And that's something the guys need to understand that when it does get hard, when it does get tough, more often than not, it's when that magic happens. We've got back to a couple of deliveries here. First up, Premier Meal Prep. My uh, food sponsors, we love a Premier Meal Prep. We have the cooked chicken, this is the garlic and herb, love the garlic and herb. Garlic and herb piri piri, and then the garlic and herb prawns. The prawns are absolutely unbelievable. Trust me, get them. Use Josh10 for discount across their website. Next up, guys, Alphalete delivery. It seems like every video we do an Alphalete delivery, but quite honestly, they send me stuff nearly every couple of weeks. So this is the new King range. This stuff, let's get this into the light. This material right here, the clean alpha lead across the front with the learn more, dream more, be more world across the front. These are gonna be your new favorites. They've got quarter zips. They have the joggers as well that match. Oof. These are the quarter zip versions. They also have hoodie versions of these as well. I got all of them, so you guys will see. With the kangaroo pouch still here as well. Evergreen, black, all of these colors. You'll see me wear probably over the next couple of days. Josh B for discount on alpha lead. Look at that. Jeez. Carbs are always the uh, the thing to get shredded first. Still so much water in me. Just gro dropped off the growth hormone and your himbine as of like yesterday. So the next couple of days we should see a good old flush of water, which is really, really good. I just wanted to jump in here, guys, because you guys who have followed me for a while know about my company, 1MR, One More Rep. It's about a lifestyle, it's a mindset, it's a company that's built behind a philosophy to be better, do better, and improve yourself every 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 step that you can. We have a new range, it's called the Midnight Drop. In fact, it'll be live as of this video, so go cop yourself some. We have two new amazing belts for you in our Midnight Navy, in our Midnight Grey with our new circular logo, which is incredible. Uh, we've got matching, wrist wraps as well and we of course have the matching wrist straps in the new material uh, which I can't wait for you guys to try and then we have the belt buckle coming this is gonna come a little bit later but we are shooting it today if you guys just see here to your my left hand side this is our studio so this is how to entrepreneur 101 if you take a look down here so you'll see that's like our makeshift studio for today. We're shooting all the products for the launch uh, in a few days time. So look out for that guys. That's a little bit behind the scenes of Audemars, what we're doing. Got a few more things coming, which we will talk about, uh, but that's what's on the agenda today. So guys, a long, long day yesterday shooting for uh, the new Midnight Range, which will be live as of this video. So guys, if you want to cop yourself some new wraps, straps, wraps, uh, we've got a few more, more things coming in a few weeks as well. Support your boy as well. Wanamar.shop, check it out. The new Midnight Bundles are available. I wanted to show you my protein ice cream. Like I used to have that kind of yogurt. I've been having protein ice cream again, and because basically it's like whey, ice. If you've got almond milk, you can put almond milk in there as well. Blend it up and you can have ice cream. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So ice in first. So protein of choice at the moment, marshmallow syrup milk from Ghost. This is just their whey protein. Uh, you know what, like this, the, the, the cinnamon vegan one is really, really good, but whey protein, like just where it doesn't have the fat and carbohydrates in it, it's just pure protein. Like this is literally just pure, pure, pure protein, so uh, it's a big win for me. A little bit of almond milk gonna go in now. We'll blend it up, I'll show you what it looks like. So what you can do is, if you are a rogue like me, you can put a bit of sweetener in there as well. I know there'll be a bit of sweetener in the way, but in this is absolutely fine. This is gonna look like loads, but trust me, I've weighed this out many times. It's about five grams doing that. The consistency, baby. So what I'll do is, you can see that's more like, uh, it's not like ice cream, but I'll put that in the freezer now, probably for like 45 minutes or so. So I made this before I'm gonna eat it. And then by the time I'm ready to eat, it will be Perfect. And uh, voila, that's how it comes out. A little bit ice creamy on top. 
if we can leave it a little bit longer. Mm. Be that the way through. Sometimes I put a little bit of cinnamon on top as well, or if I've got some some like zero calorie uh, maple syrup. But for right now, cinnamon is all good. I'm gonna sit down, eat this pre-workout meal. So guys, we are here. This is eight days out now. The water drop is uh, really taking I don't know if you can tell, I can really feel it in my face. Like my dimples are big. I really dropped off like over a kilo last night uh, from my all time low, which I hit the day before and the day before. So 104.3 this morning, uh, really not much left to come on. We'll throw some pictures up right now. That marks kind of 16, 17 kilos taken off now and uh, we're feeling it. Legs are super, super heavy, but we're in for the last leg session right now of prep for peak week anyway. So we'll give what we can today, give you the rundown of where everything is, drugs, food, training, cardio, and then uh, we're gonna set you up for the peak week video next week. And then, uh, fuck, it's show day. Let's go. So guys, training, training up to this point has been as is business as usual, trying to retain as much as possible. If there's ever a progression, I take it, but more often than not, uh, I'm just trying to maintain what I did the week before. And if I need to, I'm gonna drop it, guys. You've got to consider I've got three stone, 16, 17 kilos less body weight behind me around my core. That adds to stability, adds to progression, adds to recovery. So that is naturally gonna be taken away from me. So we've still been training the fake up until now, but obviously moving into peak week, coming into my last leg session, I'm just gonna pull it back off 10 out of 10, nine out of 10. And then the peak week video will explain what we do with training there, because it is slightly different. So training, as is, five days a week, split hasn't changed, mindset behind training hasn't changed, and that's the difference between keeping muscle and losing it. It's heavy as shit. Can't let it get to you though, you just gotta keep going. Fuck. <sighs> wow. At this point, I don't know if you're filming, where are you filming? To my left, to my right, back here. <laughs> to this point, guys, I've got fuck all left. It's just so difficult. And I can just take that onto the cardio, man. 50 minutes. Uh, people do more, people do less. But for me, 50 minutes is an absolute fuckery. Destroys my legs right now. My legs lifting my legs like that, and I gotta go hatch squat in a minute. It's just so, so fucking mentally difficult to keep picking yourself up, but you just have to, you've got no other choice. I've got no other choice. There is no no in the vocabulary, there is just do. So it doesn't mean I can't complain. That's what I'm doing. It's just so, so difficult, but cardio, 50 minutes, 140 beats a minute a day, every day. Usually do about 35 minutes fasted, 50 minutes post-workout today. I couldn't even do 20 minutes. I had a migraine last night, so I did 20 minutes, which means I've got half an hour after this leg session. Or I might do it later on, we'll see. But 50 minutes a day, baby. Keep the doctor away. Oh, 
strip off this uh, some of you guys uh, and people forget in a prep is like basic movement like we call it steps in the UK I don't know if it's like a thing across the world I'm sure it is steps like the amount of steps you do per day like Apple watches phones Fitbits they all track them per day and you'll find that all your you won't find but your body will just naturally shut the fuck down when your body's not eating enough, when your body's too tired, when your body's in a position where potentially it's just not got enough fuel going in, you'll find you'll just sit down more, and that is where steps come into play. A minimum amount per day will keep you like minimum output at the same. So for me, 11,000, that is quite a lot. It's about eight kilometers a day, so 11,000 steps a day, on top of the cardio, separate. Guys, as of this video, the midnight range is now live. We've got two new lifting belts, we've got two new lifting straps, and two new straps. If you buy all three, you get a 15% discount across the whole brand, which is incredible. Uh, so check them out live now, one of my shop, link in the bio. <clears throat> also guys, while I'm here, I'd love to know your opinion on knee sleeves. Do you like these ones, like this, which are like thicker? These are slightly like, these are about nine millimeter thickness, or do you prefer the thinner uh, near the range? These are like as thick as SPD ones. Uh, I've always preferred the thinner ones, but I've been using these slightly thicker ones as I've got leaner, and I'm much preferring the support, so. I mean, I'd love to know what you guys think. We've just got the plain black pair here, but we are gonna be doing a few new colors soon, so I'd love you guys uh, consuming. But do you like those thicker ones? We prefer the thinner ones. Uh. See, I could go for one more, but it wouldn't be smart. My knees are killing me. The winch stroll is in, and we'll uh, talk about drugs in a minute.
Right then guys, so drugs. Uh, we'll do we'll do anabolics first and we'll do thermogenics. So first of all, anabolics, testosterone, uh, that got to a peak of 500. I actually noticed a little bit of nipple sensitivity. So I actually pulled that out to 400. So test is at 400. I switched that Primo to Mastron five or six weeks ago uh, for no other fact than it was just a bit easier to get the Mastron. 1,000 milligrams of Mastron, just a straight dose for over Primo, literally just 1,000 milligrams. That's not changed for the last three or four weeks. Trend was at 100 the last time I think we spoke. Um, I've pushed it up to 150 and now this final two weeks up to 200. I'm using 100 of enanthate because I've been using that the whole time and then 100 acetate and I split that acetate over five days. So 20 milligrams uh, five days a week. Anavar has just been cracked up to 40 milligrams um, and Winstrol to 30 milligrams. Pushing that DHT up to cause a harder, drier look. Slowly pulling that testosterone down to pull that estrogen down as well to refine that look. We've also pulled growth hormone out and also your hip mine, which will both pull water, which is why the last two or three days I've lost like a kilo a day because of the water coming off. So wait till that subsides. Then we'll pull off the inflammation from just training and cardio, 50 minutes of cardio a day. My legs are full of water every day. And it'd be really interesting to see that look. So anabolics, uh, that's kind of where they're flowing at the moment. And we'll do a thermogenics in a minute. This is so hard. This is like scraping the absolute barrels. No, I'm not going to get on that cardio machine after this. It's scraping the barrels, but we're nearly there now. Literally the last few sets of legs of this prep. Well, real legs are getting hard. And it's pretty surreal. Pretty surreal moment. Hopefully it's going to give me a, a little bit of a boost coming into next week. You know, okay, that's that done. Okay, Monday peak, peak week starts. You know, Wednesday carb load. Friday wash off the water. Saturday, you know, show day. It's all about breaking down this kind of long-term goal into those small achievable goals that you can almost reach at day by day. Reach the goal, grab it, own it, next one, you know, and, and, and breaking it down I find really, really helps me. So, eight days, baby. Eight days. Oh, there we fucking go. Fuck you. Fuck everyone. Fuck y'all if you down me. I'm a piece of fucking white trash. I say it proudly. <laughs> Fuck this competition. I don't want to win. No, I do. Uh, that's legs done. Uh, absolutely spandangled. Got to get on the, uh, the stepping out and some steps after. Uh, we'll finish up with the therms, like I said. So T3, T4. I'm literally at HRT dose. I've been hyperthyroid. Now, when anyone says hyper, it generally means high. And when they say hypo, it means low. So hypoglycemia means low blood sugar, hyper, high. So when you're hyperthyroid, uh, you naturally have a high metabolism. I've done that before. Haven't needed to do it this time, which is kind of good. So just a HRT dose, uh, you can Google that. It's super, super easy to find, I'm not gonna tell you. Uh, Clen is at its ma my max tolerable dose. Um, I've had people higher than where I am, but this is my max tolerance. So again, I'm not gonna say where it is, um, but again, you can, you can look a little bit closer online to find that. Uh, your himbine completely removed. Now I've found my heart rate is so much lower because of it. It's a huge stimulatory. So it's very difficult to get my heart rate back up to where it was with your himbine. Um, and then also growth hormone come out as well. So definitely notice a lack of fullness or a little bit less fullness from the growth hormone coming out. And those are some of the things to note over the next few days. But Peak Week video will explain exactly what we do with water, food, salt, carbs, and then everything along that. I'm excited to take you through it. For now, I'm going to get my ass in that cardio machine and we'll see you in the next clip.